Okay, I thank you for joining me. This will be a presentation of the media database for the final presentation. Okay, uh, my name is William Augustine and I'm going to be presenting uh, my final project. And it is pretty much a brief sample of a media catalog of software. And once again, my name is William Augustine. This project is based on an application that categorizes the media files on a particular system. These files are organized by music, movie, applications, pictures. Uh, these files can be edited by the administrator or our guests can view them for later downloading. Uh, for simplicity purposes, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on one media type. Uh, that particular media type is going to be music. Uh, we will focus on this particular media type and how it relates to the other databases within the project. Um, other media types pretty much follow the same principle and uh, follow the same process as the music databases. Uh, the summary is accesspc.net is the organization that we're focusing on here, uh, which archives media data types and we're going to use the database examples which we have picked up from this course to uh, explain how the database works. Uh, the media can be browsed by type and downloaded at any time by the guest. Uh, once a guest has access to the application, they're pretty much granted guest rights to the, uh, to the database. And with that, they will be able to go and uh, download files uh, only administrators can upload and delete data, and that pretty much is the uh, DBO of the, uh, of the database. Here is a sample ER diagram uh, with the respect to the database tables. Uh, pretty much you have your uh, file here, your table here, uh, music, and pretty much uh, wherever you pull up any sort of information, uh, <coughs> you have your album ID uh, within this particular database and you have your artist here, the artist name and your artist ID and you have the uh, genre here, the genre ID and the genre name and over here you have the data type and the data type name whether it be a MP3 or a Windows Media Audio or something of that nature so if you pull up this particular table by itself uh, you will get the album name and uh, with relation to the artist ID, not the name, the genre ID, and the data type ID. Uh, so we'll go into further explanation on how this uh, table works. This is the relational schema for uh, music and pretty much, uh, as I stated before, uh, I excuse the, the squiggly lines, but you have the music type and um, within the music database, like I said, it's pretty much just the uh, album name and whatever information you need to pull will come from here or the other uh, tables within the database. SQL information, script information, this database will be maintained uh, with Microsoft SQL uh, triggers, score procedures, user roles, access rights will all be coded uh, within the database. Uh, the application will also uh, house some information, but uh, within the database we're going to script this out uh, using Microsoft SQL. Uh, here are the uh, DBA, the uh, administrator will have table modification access. Uh, the administrator will also have access to simulate a survey actually real world environment and uh, I'm going to definitely touch on this. Uh, this is very important uh, especially uh, within the corporate environment survey and actually I'll definitely get into that but the administrator will have uh, access to the database but the access will somewhat be limited uh, because of the power that the uh, administrator has over this database.
Uh, as stated before, uh, within the music database, all tables will be scripted and created uh, with Microsoft SQL. Uh, table script can be seen uh, within the summaries provided. I'll also provide a PDF that you all can download uh, and take a look at the uh, summary of the uh, particular database and tables. Here is a breakdown, a brief breakdown of the user roles and security. Um, you of course have the uh, DBO as the administrator. Uh, this user will have ownership access of the database, including the leap and insert ability. Any changes within the database, uh, except regular changes, will have to be approved by change management. And this also relates to survey and actually compliant. Uh, you definitely don't want an administrator going in and making any type of changes uh, without that being approved uh, for production use. Also, uh, another role we have will be the basic user. Uh, this will just be pretty much a guest which will have access to browse titles, download any sort of information that they are looking for um, within the application and the database. We also have a power user uh, which will be able to browse and make updates to a particular record. Um, depending on the particular database and user or uh, the type of file or database that we're looking at, um, they will be able to make updates but not necessarily upload information. Uh, they may be able to make some updates and this will have to get looked at by the administrators just to verify that this sort of information is correct. Um, all these changes definitely um, will be made within the application. Pretty much we have the application in the forefront and the database in the background. Store procedures. Uh, with our store procedures, uh, we will have one procedure pretty much that you will be able to access a particular album within the database. And um, once you pull up the album and the artist, it will pull up a particular artist actually, and from there you will see all the albums related to the artist. And uh, we'll, with that information, uh, you will see the uh, list of albums for one artist and the years corresponding uh, with those album uh, release dates. Also, uh, we will have another procedure which will be separate from uh, this one listed, which will be one which can give us an album count and also display all the related titles for that particular artist. And also, this can be done uh, within the other uh, databases as well, uh, whether it be music or some other sort of media, uh, such as a video or photographs. Triggers. Uh, our triggers here are pretty simple. Uh, when a new artist arrives or whenever uh, new information is added, uh, it will also update the related tables. Uh, if you add a uh, particular album within the database, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to also have to enter information for the uh, artist's name, the genre, uh, the release date, and other sorts of information related uh, to the mix to the uh, basic music uh, database. Uh, all information, as uh, stated before, uh, will be entered uh, via a web application, a web interface, I'm sorry, or some sort of uh, Microsoft C Sharp coded application. Uh, we're not necessarily going to go into the uh, database itself and script information to enter within the database. Uh, that information will definitely be entered in uh, using a uh, web interface or an application uh, created that pulls and uh, relates information back to the particular data. Also, importantly, any updates to a record uh, will be kept within the log uh, within the database, which uh, tracks all, uh, all information within the database, uh, any changes, uh, any updates, uh, queries, things of that nature, pull, uh, will be seen within the edit log. Uh, so that's very important.